the Civil War had ended, but the hatreds burned on, especially in the border states. This is the background of a new film about a man forced to witness the destruction of his family by a murderous band of Kansas irregulars called the Redlands. With what you did here today, I've got to kill that man. Well, he'll have to run for it now. The star of the film is no stranger to this kind of role, but he is adding new dimensions to what has become the authentic Western hero. His name is Clint Eastwood. For this film, Eastwood performs on both sides of the camera, directing as well as acting in The Outlaw, Josie Wales. Okay. Zoom in. A ray of hope, man. You just can't believe it. Really tired, John. Really shot. Sheb, you can relax. Okay. We got the Josie Wales, Abe. We got reward money coming. The character I play is haunted by what happened to him, and he's forced into a position of defending himself. He's an unwilling target for almost anybody he meets. We built this trading post, and we wanted a dark look, kind of a natural look, not, not very lit. And uh, this is when the uh, two men try to get Josie for the bounty. I got him. I got me Josie Wells, the one that everyone's so scared of now. Just ease your hands down. Take them guns out, but first. So you can get hold of them. We're lucky we had Chief Dan George for the role of Lone Waddy. That's the Indian who travels along with Josie in the film. Then you turn to her, no offense. The Chief's 76, but that hasn't hurt his timing one bit. Howdy. Howdy. I'm getting better at sneaking up on you like this. Only an Indian can do something like this. That's what I figured. You figured? Only an Indian could do something like that. OK, one more time, Madeline. Don't look at the mark, please. OK. Action. Soldiers were here looking for you about two hours ago. They say you killed your own men. They say you're a hard put and desperate man. They're gonna heal and hide you to a barn door. I reckon so. We covered a lot of ground in this production. This time we're set up on the sides of the Feather River in Northern California. That's Gold Rush territory. Actually, this is just in place of the Missouri River, or Mississippi, someplace in the south. It's a scene when the Red Legs come close to catching Josie at a ferry crossing. Yeah, I've always felt this character was the type of man who could survive anything. And in order to start over again, he had to take violent measures, not only for vengeance, but to save his own life. We got something in this territory called the Missouri Boat Ride. The company moved on to Utah, where an Indian encampment was authentically recreated. We built this village where I meet ten bears. Josie and he know each other by reputation. I wanted that feeling that anything could happen, that Indians weren't necessarily savages. I wanted that reality. You'll be ten bears? I am ten bears. You're the gray rider. You would not make peace with the blue coats. It's said that governments are cheap by the double tongues. It is good that warriors such as we meet in the struggle of life or death. It shall be life. Will Sampson plays ten bears. He was the chief and one flew over the cuckoo's nest. He was an artist and just turned to acting a few years ago. Then there was the first day of shooting in Kanab Canyon, Utah. They would stage a climactic sequence here. Wherever the company moved, Eastwood did double work, constantly on top of things. He studied every approach to the new location. We scheduled several days to do this sequence with rehearsals and filming. 
Paula Truman and Sandra Locke are the two women who own the ranch. Geraldine Keems plays Little Moonlight, and all three will help Josie Wales in his fight against the red legs. What? No, no, you have to keep cocking it. We blocked out the different positions for the cameras, and at the same time, I had everybody run through their lines and actions. Just fall back a little bit shy. Pardon? The guys start coming in on the right, guys start coming in on the left. You don't even have to motion to them either. They just come in automatically. It's all been pre-planned, OK? Then comes the moment I have to step in front of the camera, and we're ready to shoot. The Western hero and the kind of man who plays the part have come a long way from the one-dimensional man with a gun. Today, he's a more complex figure, a man of real flesh with real blood in his veins, who still knows how to use a gun when he needs to. A man all the more admirable for his honesty, ability, and reality. A man like Clint Eastwood, and like the outlaw Josie Wales. 